there were a few new data um, T cells are still a big challenge because uh, in the last uh, two or three decades, while we have made a lot of progress in treating B cells, uh, the progress in treating T cells has been uh, rather uh, scarce. We had uh, a very interesting uh, paper from uh, China in the treatment of NK T cells, which uh, is um, a very frequent subtype of T cells uh, in China, where they were comparing the usual treatment called EMESA, which is methotrexate, etoposide, dexamethasone, and PEC asparaginase, to ASA, which means less or no methotrexate as compared to the uh, standard treatment, and also in a lower dosage, and that combined with radiotherapy in early stages of NKT cells. And they were able to show that uh, the less toxic and uh, more easily applicable uh, ESA is as uh, efficacious as the more toxic uh, MESA, which uh, for um, China, where they have thousands of these patients, is a very important um, news. We had a, a huge retrospective analysis carried out by ABMT with um, almost 2,000 uh, patients where the uh, standard allogenic uh, transplantation was compared uh, to uh, transplantation using haploidentical donors. In many cases, uh, you, you are obliged to use haploidentical uh, donors. And the interesting point is that there was no difference between the matched donors and the haploidentical uh, donors, which might enlarge the indication for uh, allogenic transplantation in T-cell lymphomas, which remain in many subtypes the only uh, possibility to cure uh, the patients. And then there were two very interesting, there were many uh, abstract about uh, new drugs, but two very uh, interesting. Um, in both, there was the HDAC inhibitor romidepsin, uh, which was combined uh, in one of the trials uh, with lenalidomide and the other trial with the PI3K uh, inhibitor duvelizib. So two non-chemotherapy combinations, and uh, they uh, elicited both a very high response rate in phase two trials. Both were uh, APSAC presented by two different uh, groups in uh, New York. So an overall response rate in the order of uh, 70 to 80% uh, with a complete response rate higher than 30%. So for the first time, non-chemotherapy agents, uh, so biologic agents, have become a, a very important part uh, in the treatment of T-cell lymphomas and open uh, new avenues for very much necessary uh, improvement in the outcome of the treatment for T-cell lymphomas.